Hey there, and welcome to this video on how to deploy an architecture you've built using AWS Solutions Constructs. My name is Ryan Hayes. I'm a solutions developer here at AWS. And today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the deployment strategies you can use once you've finished building and you're ready to take your project live. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'll be covering a few tools that'll help you deploy your project into the cloud. The first one is NPM Run Build. This will compile your CDK project down into JavaScript files from TypeScript, and it makes the files more consumable by the CDK command line tools. Next up is CDK Synth, which distills your nice programmatic CDK project down into a traditional CloudFormation template. Third is CDK Diff, which compares a currently deployed stack in the cloud to the one that's on your local machine. And finally, we have CDK Deploy, which will take your project and push it directly into the cloud using CloudFormation. Now, it's important to note that there are more advanced options out there for things like CI/CD, pipelines, and automated management of your CDK project. We won't cover those in this video, but we'll provide links to resources around this at the end if you're interested. Let's jump over to the editor, and I'll talk a bit more about how each of these tools can help you with deploying your project. Let's take a look to the left and pop open the mysolutionstack.ts file under the lib folder. In a previous video, we added the AWS CloudFront S3 solutions construct to this file. And I'd like to show you what we can do now that we have the construct in our project. Now, anytime I make a change to my stack or app.ts files, I'll need to run the build command to compile them down into JavaScript so that they can be consumed by the CDK command line tools. This can be done by running npm run build from our terminal. When you build your project, it'll run the TypeScript compiler and check for any syntax or typing issues. And this adds a nice bit of extra quality assurance to your project. As we see here, the project built without any issues. So let's check out the CDK synth command. CDK synth is a tool that'll distill your programmatic infrastructure down into a traditional CloudFormation template. As you can see here, that the command prints your CDK project into the terminal as YAML code. And over to the left now, we can see there's a new folder in our project called CDK out. Inside of here, you'll find a template with your entire CDK project output as YAML code. Once we've built and synthesized our project, another handy command line tool is CDK diff. When we run CDK diff on our project, it'll compare any deployed version of the project to the changes that we have on our local machine. Specifically, this command looks for changes in your infrastructure. So if you unintentionally change a permission or configuration, it'll be spelled out for you here. You'll see a full summary of resources that were added, modified, or deleted and this gives you another layer of quality assurance before deploying your solution into the cloud. Once we review the changes to our infrastructure, which in this case encompasses a lot since this is the first push that we'd be making, let's take a look at deploying into the cloud. The CDK deploy command will pack up our project and deploy it into our account using CloudFormation. Before doing this, it'll also run CDK diff as a failsafe. Once we kick it off, the deployment process can take a few minutes depending on the number of resources being provisioned, as well as if you have resources like a CloudFront distribution being created. However, for demo purposes, we've sped this up a little bit to show the end-to-end -end flow. Now we see it says all done, and this means that our stack has been deployed into our AWS account without any issues. You can now manage your stack from both your development environment here, as well as through the CloudFormation console if you prefer. And so that's a wrap on some of the tools you can use to deploy your architecture into the cloud. We covered building your project, synthesizing it, comparing it to a live version, and finally deploying it into AWS. If you're looking for more information on what we covered today, I recommend checking out some of these great resources we have listed here. Thanks for tuning in today. Once again, my name is Ryan Hayes, and I invite you to check out the other great videos we have on building with AWS Solutions Constructs. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.